Welcome to Take 5. I'm Mark Marchandani, customer engineer here at Google, and I'm here with... Christian Monbach, fellow customer engineer. Great, Christian. And what are we going to be talking about today? Today we're talking about AppMaker. AppMaker. What's that? AppMaker is Google's low-code and sometimes no-code application development tool that allows businesses to rapidly develop and roll out service applications within their organization. Okay. Sounds like a lot. Are you sure you can get through it in five minutes? We're going to give it a try. All right. Let's do it. Getting started is easy. When you create a new app, you can choose to create a new blank application or use a sample application that can be modified for your own custom workflows. One of my favorite samples is the people skills sample that helps an organization connect people based on their skills to find specific talents when you need it. It'll take a few seconds to populate our sample app where we view the AppMaker editor screen and view the anatomy of your newly created application. Building an app in AppMaker is comprised of three primary components, data, pages, and scripts. The first section we're going to cover is data. Data models are used to store and organize data within AppMaker and can be thought of like a table in a database or a sheet in a spreadsheet. There are five different types of models that can be added, including Google Drive tables, calculated models using scripts to produce data, Google Cloud SQL, calculated SQL, or a query against the Google Cloud uh, database, and finally a directory model that obtains information from the G Suite organization's directory. The nice thing about directory model is it gets automatically provided when using the people picker widget on any of your application's pages. If we take a closer look at the endorsement model within our application, we see that each model is divided into different components. These components consist of fields to categorize data within your model, data sources to define how the application queries data associated with your model and how the UI accesses it, relations to express potential connections between records, events or custom actions triggered by interactions with data, and finally the security controls for which users or roles can access that data. Next we have pages. Pages are where you style your app and include all the static pages, pop-ups, and widgets that your users can interact with. Here you can take advantage of data bindings and bind widget properties to your data models, control page and component visibility, and style using your own custom CSS to improve the look and feel of the app. Widgets are the building blocks of AppMaker to create a fully functioning UI for your users. Widgets for data, input, display, layout, charts, and page fragments can be arranged on the canvas by simply dragging and dropping. They come with many customizable properties, including what data displays, to where it's positioned, and even how it responds to user input. Down in the scripts section, we can leverage the power of Google's app scripts for running server and client-side scripts that integrate external services and create additional connections between your app and G Suite. While most simple use cases can be fulfilled by using data sources and pages, adding scripts gives you the level of complexity needed for enterprise workflows. Now that we've had a chance to get acquainted with AppMaker, let's build an app and show just how easy it is to integrate Google Cloud resources. We're going to go ahead and create a new app from scratch so we can see how it looks with a blank slate. The first step is to add a data model to integrate with our app. Let's connect to an external database and choose an existing Google Cloud SQL server since we already have a database set up and ready to go. It's going to prompt me for the address of my database, which we can grab from the Google Cloud Console. The Cloud Console is your portal to all things Google Cloud and where you can access the logs and provision resources tied to your app. Let's navigate to the Google Cloud SQL section. Here, I've gone ahead and provisioned a couple of SQL servers ahead of time to communicate with our app on AppMaker and save us some time. Setup is a snap. Once you decide to take care of the scaling capability on Google Cloud SQL, simply provision a second gen server from the console, add a database, assign a user and password authorized to access, provide permissions to the AppMaker service account via IAM, and you can bring your existing data or begin writing to new tables you can integrate across your cloud ecosystem. We're going to go ahead and copy our SQL server address and add it into AppMaker now. Let's plug that in there and then enter our user credentials to make sure we have connection. If successful, you should see a list of tables within your database available for user in your app. Let's go ahead and add in the employees table as our data model that we can expose in our widgets. Now let's go ahead and rename our blank page to SQL table and then go ahead and drag the table widget into our user interface. Choose the employees data model that we've got selected there and then make it editable. Depending on who I give access to, they can update these records and have them sync back up to their Cloud SQL instance. Now we've got that in place, let's go ahead and change up our background a little bit and then prepare to deploy our new SQL table app. 
From app settings, we can create different roles to control access to our application. As in all things cloud, it's best to use the practice of least privilege and assign permission to Google Groups that makes updating membership simpler and more secure. We can also review our revision history as we've built our application to control our deployments. Now that we're ready to deploy, we'll give it a name, choose whether or not to restrict access, confirm SQL and admin access, and then publish to our intended audience. There you go. We now have a serverless application running on App Engine while simultaneously leveraging Google Cloud SQL and the power of AppScript. Wow, so it's really that easy to create a secure and serverless application right from Drive? That's right. We now have a serverless application running on App Engine while leveraging Google Cloud SQL and the power of AppScript, giving you time to get back to more important things. Like ping pong? Exactly. Let's do it. We need practice. <laughs> <laughs>